this is the part where I just express my general bitter bitterness at the state of family law, particularly when it comes to divorce and their treatment of men, where, as it's been pointed out by others, it might be the only field of law where there apparently is no presumption of innocence mm. because, yeah, where where women will make accusations and they will assume things. It's like you start at 50-50 and it just seems to get worse from the men. Well, 85% of the time, according to generalized statistics, 85% of the time, the woman winds up with custody of the children. Now, I have a hard time believing that it's really that skewed in reality. I have a hard time believing that like 85% of the time it's like, yep, you know, the man is definitely not suitable and the whoop is definitely more suitable and stuff like this. And like, and as I was saying, sometimes prenups seem to disappear into the wind. Mm. And at least for at least for my money, although it's the law, but I can disagree with the law. So I'm going to at this point. I, I don't really think it's fair that, you know, we necessarily have a 50-50 split when the reason for the divorce is for cause. You know, if she's a cheating hoe, I'm not sure she deserves as much as, as you know, if it's for other reasons. Yeah. That's it's, fair. It's, it's, I mean, that's the same fair. She's a cheating hoe and she still gets half my stuff. That's not cool. If, I mean, if if the pre, if the prenup says that, though, I mean, I, I, would, and then I again, would say. And then again, and then again, does it because magic. And now, now it no longer says that because you can wind up in that kind of stuff. Stuff. I, I mean, yeah, I have, I have many, many thoughts about the family law system. Mostly that it's broken and horrible, and I hate it, and I want everyone to die. Um, but you know, yeah. <laughs> well, so I, I, I do agree that it has its problems, um, and I, I do agree that that it does tend to be very, very heavily skewed towards the towards women in in at least in the cases that I am familiar with. So, you know, obviously I, I don't want to paint with two broad brushstrokes um, um, because, you know, I'm sure that there are plenty of cases where, where a mom has been, has been screwed that has to exist somewhere. Right. But um, the cases that I am familiar with do seem to suggest what you are saying um, in that, that women tend to be, much more favored in family law court. And I think that part of that, I mean, part of that I think is just sort of a, a relic of the past, right? Like this is law tends to move very slowly in, in all respects. You know, we, we, we talk most often about technology and how, how law has to catch up to, uh, to tech advancements and whatnot. Um, but I'm just, I'm just saying if the law is a patriarchy, that favors men we're doing a really shitty job of it over in family law land but i think that that is that is one of the areas where where that sort of uh uh division along gender lines um is is a relic of the past and i think that it 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 does like what am i trying to say here you know like like it it hasn't it hasn't modernized to the way in which in which parenting and and you know family divisions have have have, um, but on, I but think on this, but it developed but it, over time. But on the straight letter of the law, it kind of has because like this is like one of the things that's frustrating because when I took the Virginia bar many many moons ago in an alternate life, you know, when the, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, but when I took the Virginia bar, one of my essay questions was a divorce question and uh, as i've you know i don't remember everything about the bar but i remember this question i remember one other question almost word perfect because like i was so shocked to get it and i was so thrilled so i remember one of them like basically word perfect and then i remember a little bit of the other details and more fuzziness but this one i remember a little fuzzy it's like there was a case with a divorce and alimony and there was absolutely nothing interesting about it in any way whatsoever except the gender roles were reversed right the woman was the one who was working. The woman was the one who was earning the money. The woman was the one who had money from before the marriage. The woman was yeah. the one who was making money during the marriage and so forth and so on, right? Yeah. And the man was either stay at home or making less money or whatever the case was. And I'm like, well, on the strict law, I'm like, this is easy, right? I mean, it's like communal property, split it by half, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's easy peasy, paint by numbers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, people are going, I, and I thought I was thinking to myself, which is why I remember the question. I was thinking to myself as I was writing that down, I'm like, people in this room are going to get it wrong simply because they can't bring themselves to write down the right answer, which is the man is going to win some alimony. 
And I mean, that's the right answer on the law. It's yeah. easy. That's what the law says. I mean, the law's not rendered, rendered, written in a gendered way. And I'm yeah. like, people in this room are going to get it wrong because they can't bring themselves to do it. And I, I think like in family law, many times that's true because I don't know of any state where like the law is not written neutrally, but the application of that law, you know, eh. so I don't know what more we need to do to bring it into the modern age. I mean, it's like, it should, you know, eh. Hmm. Mirror, mirror. I don't yeah I don't I don't have enough practice in in that area to to know how things can be can be modernized in that area but no I just um, I, I, neither do I and I, so, like I refuse to touch it because it just seems like a word of broken pain it seems like a world of broken pain and hurt feelings and sadness and yeah and yeah. and like you know I mean I you know just everyone's miserable and everyone's making accusations and I, I don't know. It seems like in family law, I have no ability to like determine who's telling the truth because it just all seems like it's like I don't know. It's like even in criminal cases or like stuff. It's like I have a better. I feel like I have a better ability to tell who's telling the truth. Family law cases, I have no clue who's telling the truth. It just all seems like pain and horrible and anger and animus and misery and <laughs> no, I, I do. I I, I do agree. I mean, it's, it's, if you think about it, it's, I mean, family law is all about a breakup of, of a family, even if it's, if it's not at the point of a breakup of a family, it's, a, it's anticipation of a potential breakup of a family. We need you know? to, we need to legalize divorce sad. again. We need to legalize divorce again. Reagan, I don't know about that. Reagan, Reagan was wrong. Reagan was wrong. He was the first one to bring no fault divorce in the great state of California. Republican, apparently as it were, bringing about no, now every state has it. Let's make divorce illegal again. I don't think so. <laughs> because as much as, as much as I don't like divorce, um, there are some cases where it probably is a good thing because, you know, having, having the possibility of a divorce, I think helps some people that are in abusive relationships, for example, um, there are, there are cases like that. There are always, always well, going to I be mean, nuanced least, situations like but that. But at least then you had four cause. Like, so maybe it's just the no fault divorce is the problem because, you know, abuse, neglect, adultery, uh, where you're like classics. So I'm not, you know, but, well, but, then, but like, then you have a, then you, I then you have like a potential it. burden on someone that has to prove that. Right. And then it's like, you're, you're putting somebody who is potentially in an abusive situation, having to come forward and take an extra stand uh -huh. and to put evidence forward. And like, that's, that's kind of a lot. So, to put so on when are you filing? Already. What? When are you filing? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy. Thank you very much. 